Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Landstalker, the Treasures of King Knoll for the Sega Genesis, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I've had this game requested to me many times but over the years, and I've never got around to it because I've been too busy with other games. I, I did try this out briefly, it's not that bad. I mean, some people compare it to Zelda... With a bit of Equinox and the Immortal or even Q-Bird, by the way, that you're moving diagonally instead of, like, in multiple directions. I even had some people say that it was better than Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, but I kind of disagree. And that's a bit of a Nintendo bias, but either way, I think both games are pretty good. At the Gamel Date 312, the Gypta Ruins. You get yourself a pretty nice intro, just to kick things off. Alright, basically we're playing as an elf by the name of Nigel. And he's a bit of an adventurer slash treasure hunter. Got a bit of that parkour thing going on. When you, when you look at this intro, it kind of reminds me of a movie, so to speak. I mean, given that you're seeing the title of the game, you're also seeing, like, who was involved in the game while things are just going on in the background. Look at all that agility! And yes, you have a sword, the enemies do make some weird noises when you kill them, and you all have some kind of puzzle elements. Well, that statue is bigger than his head. Meanwhile, at Kalva Harbor, even the old people can jump pretty well. They got big-ass feet, though. So, I will definitely be doing my best to find everything in this game. There are lots of health upgrades you can find. And there might be one or two side quests as well. Hehe, <laughs> here's your money for the Statue of Gypta. 2,000 golds, awesome. You're a very good treasure hunter, hehehe. <laughs> with that money, you won't have to work for quite some time. I envy you. What? Help me, please! Who are you? Hey, you! Hand me that little girl! 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 They know I've seen King Knoll's treasures! They'll do anything to make me talk! They'll probably even kill me! Who knows? So please, help me! Wait a minute! Did you say King Knoll's treasures? Watch me that jibber jabber! I told you to give me that girl! Run! Hurry! Hmm, could be interesting. Okay, come on! That's not me controlling the dialogue, it actually is skipping that fast. Ha ha ha, you won't get away! Little did you know I actually did get away. We did it! She's gone! Hey girl, did you just really see the legendary treasures? My name's Friday! Don't call me girl! Okay, okay, you can call me Nigel. Now talk! I saved your life, you know. To tell the truth, I didn't really... Quit fooling! Why were they running after you if you hadn't seen the treasures? Well, I didn't actually see them, but I know they're around here somewhere. Great, take me to the general area. After that, my keen senses will lead us to the treasures. Alright then, follow me, Nigel. Let's get one thing straight, I'm not your follower. Okay, they gotta ride a big-ass burr that wears goggles. I got a really bad feeling about all this. Yeah, there's like no way to keep you restrained to the bird. Music is actually pretty nice as well. I hope you're right about those treasures, Friday. I paid all my money to that strange big bird. Okay, you gotta press B to advance the dialogue. But the ship going to the island only comes once a month. You said, I don't care how much it costs, I want to go there right now. But 2,000 golds? That's more than I... The treasure's worth more than 2,000 golds, isn't it? I guess so. Well, in for a copper, in for a gold. Okay, so to go southwest, you basically just hit down. Personally, I think it's best to just rotate your controller a little bit. Hmm. Seems I can only go this way. 
Actually, you're just better off just hitting the three directions at once, because it seems like you're always going to go southwest or northeast if you're only pressing one button. Okay. B is jump, C is to use your sword, and A is also to use your sword. Okay, I can't do anything with that statue. I think you can just jump on that. Okay, B allows you to get out of your menu. Mm, we'll come back to that later. Now let's start our adventure! Yes, let's. Okay, you will be running into some enemies later on. I don't know how later. But you do have a sword. And that's basically all you do. You don't have a charge attack. You might get some abilities later. I never really played that far into the game. And I really should. I mean, it is pretty good. Woe and death unto those who step into this land. Yeah, for my enemies, if there are any. Controls are a little bit to get used to, but I'll adjust. And there's your life stock. Life stocks permanently increase your health. So it's a good idea to find as many as you can. Yeah, I got some gold. And you can jump on these treasure chests as well, use them as a platform. There we go, and I got 10 gold to make up for the 2,000 I spent to get here. Alright, so let me check out this path first. I don't know if you can actually open these treasure chests on the side. I'm gonna have to test that out. to take this box. He's gotta use this as a platform. Oh, you can even open them from the back. That's nice. There. Now I got 6 HP. Alright, so really all we're doing is just platforming. There's no enemies here. Uh-oh, I think I activated something. Oh, I can't get that treasure. You can try as much as you want. Even if you jumped at the very edge, you can't reach that treasure. I've tried several times. It never worked. So I'm guessing we'd have to come back here later, once we actually can reach that treasure. Yeah, I can't move either, so that explains why I'm not in the middle of the raft. Okay, I don't like the looks of this. We're actually going to go down a waterfall, it seems. We Ah, oh, broke my legs. Oh my gosh, a man! I have to tell Grandpa! Ugh. Oh. Ow. He's still sleeping. He didn't seem to be the lazy type. Let him sleep for a while. You can stay in our village as long as you want. Hooray! That's a great idea. But we're in a hurry! Nigel, wake up! It's time to continue our treasure hunt! Oh, but I was so comfortable! I want to talk to these Ewoks. The treasure of King Knoll? Oh yeah, I... er... have no idea. You're hiding something, I betcha. Are you okay? Take care! Huh, you can even swing your sword in a village. That's funny. Oh, hey, how's it going? On the west side of Gumi, the road branches off the two paths of the sea. The right path leads to the big town, Mercador. The left leads to Ryuma, which is famous for its lighthouse. Hi, are you okay now? Well, where is your friend? You know, that mini-sized girl. She doesn't like being called girl. How dare you call me mini-sized, you hairy brute! Oops, sorry. Touchy, isn't she? Nah, she's just menstruating. Okay, there's actually, like, a hidden livestock you can get here. What you would have to do... I'm not making this up. You have to jump on one of these guards. Actually, I think I should jump on the dog. Because I won't be able to reach this, uh... Statue otherwise. I need to get on that guard over there. Eventually, he'll walk over towards the statue. Come on. 
There, just by getting on the statue's head, you can find another livestock. Some of these items are actually very tricky. Welcome to our church. Is there really a goddess? You're asking that in church. Huh. Alright, make records and perform healings. Bring any book to me. This is a very awkward way to, like, uh, take advantage of the priest system. You know, like you see in Shining Force. Okay, curing hallucinations. Can you get rid of that fairy? This caused various curses. I'm not cursed. A detox book, that's probably for poison. And that allows you to save your game. To take advantage of these features, you just gotta bring the book over to the priest. It looks like I'm kissing the book. Yeah, I'm gonna continue. I don't want anything. I'm, I'm done. I'll be careful. Tell me what to do. Okay, that's the house I just came from. Let's go talk to everybody. Hi, I could give you a helpful hint about the specialty of this island. No, I don't. It's restorative called Eek Eek. It contains a mega dose of the Econol vitamin. You can buy it anywhere, got it? Really? Here, maybe? May I help you? I'm sure. What's this? That must be the Eek Eek. 15 gold? No. How do I put this down? I'll put it right on the Eek Eek. 150 gold for the livestock. Hmm, can I steal it? Hey! Stop! Thief! Okay, so you don't get killed. You just leave without the item. I've lived here since I was a child. Masen and Gumi were very good friends long ago. What started the feud? Nobody really, I know. Go see the old man at the waterfall shrine. Maybe he can tell you. The waterfall shrine sage. Eccentric? Huh. So is my fairy friend. Oh, you get a free eek eek. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but... There's no voice acting in this game, so it's no skin off my scrotum. Be careful what you say! My husband is enraged! Somebody's gotta put those Gumi savages in their place. If only I were younger. Have you met anyone who looks different from us? Well, be warned! They're Gumi tribesmen, and they don't like us in Masen. Don't go south, you'll get a raw deal. You know what else is a raw deal? Me stealing your stuff. Huh. I can take this pot with me. Oh, that's so cool. Here, I'll put it on your head. I'm gone now. The little things you do. I heard it through the eek eek vine, huh, heard through the grapevine, that Gumi warriors are often seen around the bridge these days. At least that's what they say. Plant the seeds and watch them grow! Soon you'll reap what you have sown. Take these crops to town one day. You'll be rich and then you'll say. This is the farmer song. Crop sales will boom when I sing at the market in Mercator. Or you pretty much get thrown in jail for causing a disturbance, but hey, you got a livestock for me. I've heard rumors, or heard from my fans, that the voice acting in this game is pretty bad. I don't think I want to stay at the inn, but I will go check this place out. We have many suspicious guests these days. Oh, you are a guest here. No, I'm not. Here. Ha, <laughs> they can even move with the pot. You're a treasure hunter, aren't ya? Ah, don't even try to hide it. Yeah, I sensed it at once. Have you met the Sage of the Waterfall Shrine? No. Uh -huh, you need more experience, kid. That guy looks so much like Hitler. Is Hitler a treasure hunter in this game? I think I've seen it all. Hmm, the island map. Yeah, I, I do. Huh, oh, Friday's hovering over my son. 
And that's literally all I could see. And uh, no. Can I even take the map with me? I, I don't see why you can't just take the map with you. It makes no sense. And in order to see the map, you have to bring it over. And then you gotta actually leave so you can pick it up again. That's a bit of a weird system. I'm not really a fan of that. Alright, so I gotta go to the Waterfall Shrine then. I think this is all I can do here. So let's check out what else is here. Nothing. The people of Gumi came and smashed the bridge. The bridge is broken. They must be possessed by evil spirits. Somebody please tell the mayor. Well, I suppose I can go to the mayor myself. If I remember correctly, the house is over here. The bridge has been smashed. The youngsters are planning to make a raid on Gumi. Well, I'm not getting involved in that. I'm just gonna go over to the waterfall shrine. Alright, well, since I know that I had to hold two directions at once to actually go everywhere, I'm not gonna bother to, like, tilt my controller in a slant. That would just make things so awkward. There are no random encounters here, which is nice. There's a big tree here. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can interact with it, though. Maybe I can later. But for now, I'm just gonna have to leave it. Nope, that's not a hidden path. So I guess if I follow this road, I would go to the Waterfall Shrine. wonder how many other paths you can take. Okay. That's the way to go, then. Fair enough. Remember, I can't go to Gumi. The bridge is out. The mayor has already heard about this. Alright, so I guess I'm going to the Waterfall Shrine by going through this path. Remember, I haven't really played this far in a game. Oh, there's a cave here. Can't reach it, though. Maybe I can only create a shortcut through the other side. Alright, fair enough. Guess we'll go there later. These roads are so windy. It's too bad there's no enemies here. I would have liked that, actually. Wait. Oh. That'd be like a passage here. Guess not. Hmm. That golem is actually in an odd color. But I can't interact with it. Oh, here's our first enemies. Bubbles. And they scream so weirdly. Oh my god, that sounds so hideous. Can't drop down there. Alright, fair enough. Go that way, or I can go up here. Oh, I see some treasure. Maybe a lot easier, like rather make a big jump. Looks like I have to make a big jump. Oh, that's simple. There's a key. Okay. Looks like I'll be needing these keys for later. And if you fall, you don't take damage. You just get sent over here to the lower floor. Too bad these bubbles only drop, like, one gold. Right, let's see what's down here before we move on. Alright, fair enough. I mean, all we're gonna be fighting are bubbles. You can't swim, so anytime you see water, you're not gonna be able to cross it. But I did see a treasure chest and a floating platform. When you see those little knobs or barriers all across the, uh, floor, that means you can't cross. Oh, apparently you got a rare item drops. So you got another Eek Eek. Hmm, that looks like a switch. Let me see if I can do something with it right now. Or, I can pretty much go through the- I did not mean to do that! Fine, I'll kill these enemies too. Might get another item drop. But I probably won't. 
Oh well. You live and learn, and it gives me a chance to make more money. Even if it's very short. I'm gonna have to kill a lot of these just to get that, uh, livestock in my son. Or my son. I'll go down here now. Let's check that out. That screaming is just so hideous. I wonder who they paid to make the voice acting for a bubble screen. Probably just any kind of enemy. Wait a minute. Can't go through here. Went all that way for nothing. Maybe I gotta come back to that later. There might be another switch. Remember, I still need to unlock that door. Let's go check that out right now. Oh, almost hit me. There we go. Oh, don't fall off again. Okay, now I gotta use one of these keys. You gotta press A or C to go over to it. And that's how you use a key. Alright, I think now will be a good time to end this episode. And in the next part, I will definitely see what's beyond this door. Goodbye everyone, thanks for watching.